in today's tutorial we will talk about the neutral fats or true fats and uh, in order to make this topic easy i have some points what are the points the very first one will be the classification of the lipids second point will be the structure of the neutral fats or true fats the third point will be the types in which we will talk about the saturated unsaturated monoglyceride diglyceride triglycerides and uh, here at the end we have a question that uh, the true fats uh, are known as neutral fats means also known as now the question is why it is called neutral question we will answer that at the end so let's start from the very first one classification of the lipids before we move towards the classification we must know what is lipid lipid is actually the combination of fatty acid and alcohol when alcohol combined with the fatty acid they will produce another structure that is known as lipid and further the lipids are classified into simple conjugated derived simple lipid means simple they are simply composed of the fatty acid and alcohol in conjugated we have the fatty acid alcohol plus some other moieties some other things some other substances attached with our fatty acid and alcohol means here we have three or four things and in case of derived the name indicates they are obtained derived from the conjugated in simple well if you need further explanation about this classification we have a separate video named classification of the lipids you can search it out and watch it well uh, we will proceed from simple because our neutral fats and true fats lie in the simple classification so in simple lipids here we got the concept that in the simple lipids we have fatty acid and alcohol just when fatty acid and alcohol combine together they will make simple lipids and now these simple lipids are further divided into two the neutral fats true fats the wax now what is the difference between these two the difference lies here in the alcohol if the fatty acid is combining with alcohol type means glycerol here we got the concept fatty acid when it combines with the glycerol they will produce the true fats or neutral fats and if fatty acid is combining with alcohol other than glycerol they will produce a structure known as wax so here i have given example that's acetyl alcohol if fatty acid and alcohol is other than the glycerol here if we consider the acetyl alcohol so here we have fatty acid and alcohol they combine together they will make wax which is a simple lipid so here we got two types of the simple lipids the true fats or the neutral fats and the wax and these two are different because of alcohol if the fatty acid com is combining with the glycerol we are getting the true fats and if the fatty acid is combining with alcohol other than the glycerol then we are getting the wax and here i considered the acetyl alcohol the alcohol for the fatty acid so in short if alcohol is other than the glycerol then the product formed will be wax and now let's come towards the structure so if you want to tell about the structure of anything you must know what that thing is here you are telling about the structure of the neutral fats or the true fats so we must know what is neutral fats and true fats so here we got the concept that true fats are actually the fatty acid and glycerol means when these two combine together they will make the true fats or the neutral fats so how will be the structure in the structure we will just actually write the chemical composition of these uh, fatty acid and glycerol so uh, how will chemically the fatty acid look like r c double bond o o h this r is actually a long chain of the carbon so this is called as fatty acid and glycerol looks like carbon 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 three carbon attached with three hydroxyl functional groups now this is called as glycerol you have three carbon and having three hydroxyl functional groups this is called as glycerol and this is called as fatty acid and now if this glycerol combines with the fatty acid they will make a structure now is what true fats or neutral fats so let me give you an example by taking one of the fatty acids so here i have fatty acid this is one fatty acid now this fatty acid will combine with this glycerol by mean of a dehydration synthesis what do i mean by dehydration synthesis water will be removed from the fatty acid here we have hydroxyl it will come here and from the glycerol hydrogen will be removed so hydrogen has got positive charge and hydroxyl negative charge these two will react together they will make a product known as water 
So now that's why it is called as dehydration because water is, is removed. And due to this water formation, this is known as dehydration synthesis. What next happen is bond formation between this glycerol and the fatty acid. Now this bond is known as ester bond. Now what is ester bond? When you have R C double bond O, O R, that is known as ester bond. Here we have R, C double bond O, O and R, you know R stands for the carbon chain. So this type of bond formed is known as ester bond. So ester linkage dehydration synthesis took place, okay. And this is one of the types of the true fats or neutral fats. What do I mean by one of the types? Because we have some other types already available. And they are saturated, unsaturated, monoglyceride, di and triglyceride. Now let's know about the types. Saturated, neutral fats. Now in these types, we'll be focusing on this particular fatty acid. Now this fatty acid has got a structure R, C, double bond, O, O, H. Now so you know about this R, carbon, carbon, long chain. If this chain is having carbon, carbon bonded with single bond, that is known as saturated, okay? And if this fatty acid having single, single bond binds with this glycerol, they will produce a neutral fats known as saturated. Now what is unsaturated type? Unsaturated type stands for unsaturation means double bond. If carbon to carbon bond is double, if there is one, two or more double bonds seen in this long R carbon chain, then that type is known as unsaturated fatty acid. Now if this unsaturated joins with this glycerol, it will produce a structure known as unsaturated neutral fats. Simple. Now what is the monoglyceride? In the monoglyceride, di and triglyceride, again we are focusing the RC double bond O, OH means we are focusing the fatty acids. If one fatty acid, it may be saturated, it may be unsaturated, okay? It may be saturated means single bond fatty acid. It may be unsaturated means it may be double bonded fatty acid. So if one fatty acid, it may be saturated or unsaturated. If it binds to the glycerol, which is a three carbon long, having three hydroxyls, it will produce monoglyceride. And if two fatty acids, di means two, if two fatty acids here, another one comes, it will produce the structure known as diglyceride. What is triglyceride? You got the concept. If three fatty acids, one, two, three, fatty acids join with this glycerol, they will produce the triglyceride. Remember once again, this fatty acid may be saturated or unsaturated. Now let's come towards the question that is true fats also known as neutral fats. Now why it is called as neutral fat? Let me clear this question by two answers. The very first answer is here. Here you see hydrogen and hydroxyl group which are obtained from the uh, glycerol. You know glycerol has hydroxyl group which is a basic functional group and here we have the acidic functional group and you know the concept of acid base reaction. They are going to produce a neutral product that is known as neutralization reaction or the neutral product will be formed. One answer is this because we are actually having acid based type of reaction. And my next answer is actually on the next type of structural representation of the mono di and triglycerides. We represent by this way mono di and tri also. And here we have another way to represent the mono di and triglyceride. What is that way? You will have a round structure known as glycerol polar head and a non-polar tail of the fatty acid. Now this is the glycerol and this is the fatty acid tail. This is actually known as the true fats. If you see one tail it is called as monoglyceride and if you see a head with two tails that is called as diglyceride and if you see the head with three tails that is actually known as triglyceride. Now where is our answer in this structure? Very simple just concentrate. This head is actually known as polar head this is of the glycerol and the tail is made up of the fatty acid and you know the fatty acids is non-polar so now polar and non-polar when you see both in one structure that is actually known as a neutral structure this is the second answer why these fats are known as neutral fats and these two were the particular reasons that why our true fats are called as the neutral fats Hope so you got, if still you have any kind of question, feel free to ask us in the comment box and thank you for watching.